build a snowman. Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. We used to be best friends. And now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? You're going out to build a snowman. Okay. What's up, family? Um, just wanted to bring this to you, uh, kind of end the day out with you guys uh, today. And um, I had a kind of a funny experience, and it wasn't actually a funny experience, but it, um, something happened that doesn't normally happen. And um, anyway, um, I went out with um, my parents um, today for uh, for a lunch and. In the restaurant, this lady was very, she was just very rude. She was very obnoxious, very, very loud, um, kind of like trying to make a scene or whatever. And um, at first I was like, okay, let me get this on video, blah, blah, blah. And then um, towards the end of that, the manager from the restaurant came out and was like addressing the lady, trying to see what was going on, what the situation was. And the lady that was making so much noise ended up like breaking down crying. Um, explaining that her husband had just been killed. Um, it kind of took me back a little bit, if I could be honest, because at first, like, I, I kind of took it like in a joking situation, and then it kind of just hit me. Um, there's so many people out there that are hurting, that are searching in this life, um, and they're searching in all the wrong areas. Um, the answers that they're looking for, fulfillment, um, God, um, all these things that will actually um, fill you up and complete you and um, give you purpose in life. Uh, people are settling for so much less. And, um, you know, the answers that they're searching for, they're not going to find, you know, they're not going to find it in the bottom of a bottle. They're not going to find it um, in wealth or finances. You know, it's, it's just crazy, you know, for me to even think about and um, I, I know that that's, that's why I'm here. I mean, I know that that's the purpose in my life, um, to continue to encourage myself, encourage other people um, to be a blessing. You know, everything that we should be doing, we should be doing out of love. You know, Paul, you know, he talks, you know, the greatest of these is love. And he even said God is love. And if God is love, then we should be love to those around us. Um, I don't know. Like I said today, I was, I was kind of taken back. It's, it wasn't really something that uh, I was prepared for. And it really just got me thinking about so much in this life that we just take for granted. Like even little moments. Um, time is on nobody's side. And if we continue to treat life, um, continue to treat it. You know, and neglect it, not take care of ourselves, not take care of the people around us, we're gonna miss it. You know, rarely do we know the best times in, my li in our lives until they've already happened. So each moment we should be doing the best we can to number one, be in the moment, but also make the best of the moment. I just wanna encourage you guys, there's so many hurting people out there, and it's easy sometimes for us to get caught up in our own garbage, our own battles our own what we're going through but it's so much not about us at all we have so much more responsibility as Christians as people to be there for each other and to be there for others you know, without judgment you know without judgment but to give better options to the person at 2 o'clock in the morning that's going to answer their phone because nobody else will to be a listening ear um, to be somebody that, that listens and speaks only when they need to uh, that's so important anyway, I love you guys be encouraged be an encouragement love on people love on each other, love yourself live and love. No days off. Love you guys. Bye.